morning. I'm at work right now and I am <laughs> patiently waiting for 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I want to pick up that um, Champagne Glow palette. I'm sure you guys have all heard about it already. It's essentially this collaboration from Becca and um, Jaclyn Hill and uh, there's so much hype going on about this palette and I need it. I need it in my life. So I'm gonna see if I can get it. If not, I'll, I'll try and store when it comes in store, I think June 16th or June 6th or something. Anyway, this is gonna be the start of a new vlog. Still have a very hoarse voice, but it's much better, which I'm happy about. And um, normally I would do training today, but I'm not going to because I don't want to strain my voice too much. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow, Friday, and I'm gonna cut my hair short. I'm very excited. Um, I'm gonna miss having long hair, but I'm excited for the change because I've had, I've basically just been growing my hair out since I got it cut short the last time. So I'm excited to actually have a style to my hair. Good morning and happy Friday. My voice is getting much better. Very excited about that. So yesterday's Champagne Glow Face Palette purchase hunger game was a success. I actually accidentally bought two because, let me set you guys down here. I didn't realize I had ordered two, but when I was looking um, on my Sephora order status, there was actually two um, orders there and I was thinking, did I place two orders? <laughs> but I think it's because um, I had my browser open and I also had my phone app open and I had placed um, the item in both of my carts on the browser and also on my phone. I went to place the order on my phone first, but my phone freezed up and then the app just closed. So I didn't think that the um, order went through. So then I finished my order on my browser and uh, that one went through. But then when I was going back and I also got two like confirmation emails. So I have two of the face palettes now. But so I ordered that yesterday, um, you know, at like noon on Thursday. And uh, I just double checked because I got the shipping confirmation and it's going to be delivered today, which is mind blowing. Um, Sephora really knows how to get your purchases to you so you can make your new next purchase quickly. Um, as you can see, I'm currently getting ready for work. I feel very strange because I'm going to work in jeans and a t-shirt uh, because I have to pack for my move back into my office building. Um, but yeah, I always feel awkward whenever I kind of have to dress down, especially today I'm like totally in civvies right now and uh, I always just feel awkward. But I also wanted to show you guys a new Burberry eyeshadow that I got. <laughs> I'm kind of addicted. So let's... Uh, flashback to when I picked up two of them. Rosewood, I really, really like. It's um, it's a deeper color. It's like a, a shimmery, kind of mauve brown color, which I really, really like. Pale Barley is really... I could take it or leave it, to be real with you. It is like this, it's kind of a warm grayish color. Um, has a bit of shimmer to it. It is nice. I don't really like it alone. I prefer it to be mixed with um, some a, a matte, like warmer shade. But it is a nice color. Uh, but it's it's not. I thought it was gonna be life changing because of all the hype it got a few years ago. But it's just okay. This is my new baby, thanks to um, Sandra from TT Sandra, because she mentioned um, that she got. Uh, the stylo version of this, like the cream stick shadow version, and she said that this was one of her favorite, um, or her favorite Burberry eyeshadow, I think, which is a bold claim, so I had to pick it up. And it's a really, really nice, like, matte, I, I guess, like, medium brown. It's a warmer color, and uh, I think I'm gonna really, really like this. There's really nothing extraordinary about it in the pan, but um, it's gonna make a really great, like, lid color, so I'm excited. I might use it today, might not because I'm just moving today, but I'm gonna get ready for the day. Oh, I'm also getting a haircut tonight. I picked um, this lighting, light correcting primer from Hourglass in dim light, I think on the weekend, and uh, I really like it, but the packaging feels so um, empty. I don't know if that makes sense, but when I first um, 
opened it and the seal was on the cap and everything but I thought that um, it was half used because there was so much air in the tube that um, it was like it was empty <laughs> one last kind of homage to my long hair I'm going to be going a bit shorter I'm probably gonna cut at least eight inches off so I can donate it more if I um, I can but uh, I don't want to go super super short so we'll see uh, where eight inches leaves us I'm at work now I'm currently trying to pack so I have today Friday and Monday to finish packing and uh, I think they said that we'll be in our new space by Tuesday morning so I'm kind of doing a hybrid of packing and getting work done because we have this huge project um, due or the deadline for it is kind of the middle of June and I'm in the middle of doing that and packing and I'm really hungry so apparently we're getting pizza and I can't wait for it because I'm freaking starving. I am heading to my hair appointment now. Um, I left work a little bit early because I, I went to work a bit early. I look like poo because I've been packing all day. And I also am really, I feel really gross and sweaty because it was super, super hot and humid today. I think right now it like, feels like 30, which is very warm. So one last look at my messy locks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go pretty short, not super, super short, but I mean, shorter than my hair right now, which is probably the longest it's ever been. Okay, I just got my hair cut, and uh, as you can see, it's much shorter than before. And I also have a bag of my hair, which I'm gonna donate. Um, I'm gonna meet my mom now, just to meet her quickly before I go home. And I'll show you guys a better look of my hair once I get home. I just got home and my Sephora packages have arrived. I am so excited. I'm gonna open these up. So I got two of them. I think I already explained the whole boo-boo I made with my orders, but um, I got two of them. And I'm gonna open them up because I'm really excited about it. It's been a few months at least since I've been really, really excited about a, a new beauty product launch. So I can't wait to see these. I still have so much stuff to clean up. I haven't put away my makeup that I brought with me when I went to Ottawa. And I also haven't fully cleaned up my room for my wedding. So that's, but I'm very excited to open up these parcels. I am gonna open them both up. Here's my first one. Um, I'm not going to open them both fully up because I am giving one to someone else so I don't want to get my smudgy fingerprints on it. I just did want to make sure that they were actually the correct products. I want to open up the box at least. My second order came with um, those uh, mini samples. They were Sephora was having a promo and you could pick uh, some mini samples so I got three of them. So I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, the Jurelic or Jurelic Rosewater Balancing Mist, and the Caudalie um, Micellar Solution. And the star of the show, this palette. So this one I will open up. So beautiful uh, gold packaging with the fun, um, I don't know, confetti on the packaging. Okay, I'm gonna open this baby up if I can do it. My nails are really short, so hard for me to open packaging. So there is a sample of the backlighting primer filter. It comes beautifully packaged, very nice and secure. Ooh, it has a plastic cover over it. I love ripping off plastic covers on any. Ooh, but this top has a rubberizer, almost like a gel feel to it. So this is what it looks like inside, very pretty. The plastic um, cover also has that, uh, what is it, what are we going to call this, confetti <laughs> on it. Um, and this is what it looks like inside, so very pretty. I love this mirror. It is very 
true true it, it doesn't distort your face whatsoever which I guess is a good and a bad thing because sometimes I don't know sometimes mirrors are a little too truthful if you know what I'm saying I do own you guys know um, if you've watched well any of my past hauls or my highlighter declutter I do own champagne pop in the full size I don't have it on me right now I think it might be my makeup bag that I brought to, with me to Ottawa but um they are these pans are slightly smaller than the individual pans so this is a Becca highlighter here so this is um opal um, but this is it compared to the one in the pan so slightly smaller but I'll be honest with you I mean I'll never ever ever hit pan on one of these I'll probably never hit pan on any highlighter I own ever because they come in such big pans and you really don't need a lot of it because it's highlighter it, I mean you only really apply it to a few sections of your face so this is more than enough and I'm actually probably going to give away my champagne pop in the individual pan because I don't need to for sure so I'll just have champagne pop in this palette instead of having a separate one but I'm very excited to try these blushes I'll probably try them tomorrow I'm not gonna try them tonight because I'm an oily mess I kind of just want to wash my face because it was so hot and humid today so tomorrow morning when I get ready I'm gonna use these products Good morning, I just finished taking a shower. I was already out today, but um, I came back to actually get ready. I had to go to um, the clinic today to get some blood work done, and it was very busy because it's a Saturday. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready, and I'm gonna use my beautiful new palette. I think I've already done like a get ready with me um, in this vlog, but so this is probably gonna be like deja vu. of truth I'm gonna use um, this palette I am um, I don't even know what blush I'm gonna use maybe I'll use what am I wearing today mmm I think I'll maybe use a mix of um, the what blush is that? amaretto and rose spritz um, and then I will use the highlighter this blush has a really beautiful sheen to it I can't even imagine putting highlighter on top of this, but we're gonna do it today. I'm gonna use Champagne Pop first. This is an Anastasia brush, um, which I've been really liking for highlighter. I am currently waiting in the Costco gas bar lineup. I wanted to go to Henry's today, but I guess there's a grand opening. And it's so friggin' busy. I just want a tripod. There's a lineup all the way around the block. So yeah. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's like this crazy lineup here for Michael's or for um, Henry's. So I'm just gonna browse around in this plaza. There's like a home sense and Marshalls and all that fun stuff until that line clears up so I can get a tripod. It was a successful trip at Henry's and uh, I got a tripod. It wasn't the one that I wanted because the one I wanted was sold out. Um, but I think this choice is gonna be a little bit better because it is lighter and better for travel. The um, I got a Manfrotto tripod and the, um, I guess the, the head of the tripod isn't as smooth as their traditional Manfrotto tripods, but it will be okay because I won't be planning on using the um, tripod for like too crazy of um, like action shots so it'll be okay it is pretty late in the day on Sunday now the bow and I are heading to my parents for dinner but we just came from the mall I had to return something at Sephora and um, I picked up a liquid lipstick from Anastasia so I still did pretty well because uh, the item I returned was three times as much as this so I made money at the mall, babe. Um, so I got the liquid lipstick. I have been wanting to try their lip, liquid lipsticks for a while now, but then I watched a video of um, or from Wayne Goss, and he was talking about the liquid lipstick range, and I had to go 
and pick one up. So I picked up catnip, which is kind of like a dusty mauve, and that's my kind of lipstick. So I'm gonna try it out. There's an orchid back here because I got I got, got two of them from No Frills because they were only 10 bucks. And then I gave one to my mom, but the one I gave my mom, I left it in my car all day and um, one of the flowers wilted and I felt I felt really bad giving her like a half dead orchid. So I'm gonna trade her with mine because mine looks pretty, pretty healthy. Um, anyway, while I was at Sephora, um, well actually a few purchases ago, I managed to make it to this again. So um, today when I was in there, I just picked up the little gift and it is, I believe, a NARS blush this year. Okay, here we go. So, B.I.B. Rouge and uh, I don't know what blush this is. I think this is a limited edition blush. So that is uh, what it's called. G-O-U-L-U-E. Gulu? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This is it. This is definitely a blush that I would wear and I really like the color. It reminds me a little bit of a shimmery um, NARS Dolce Vita, maybe a lighter version. I'm pretty excited about this. We're home now from dinner at my parents and I am wearing the new, I already forgot what it's called, catnip. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and I really like it. I really like this formulation actually. I might get some more. Maybe I'll get like a nude, but uh, I don't know which nude to get because I feel like all of the nudes, most of the nudes they have are too light for me, but I also don't want something that's too brown. You know, the struggle is real, but uh, I do like this color a lot actually. It is a liquid lipstick, so I mean I can feel it on my lips, but it's not super, super drying yet. We'll see how it kind of wears. I'm just gonna go outside and um, lay down some mulch in my beautiful garden and check out all my peonies that I transplanted. Hopefully they're surviving. I'll show you guys quickly which plants I transplanted. So this is my garden. So I transplanted this hosta, also this one, and then these are the peonies, but they look so sad and droopy, I don't know. They're really mature plants. So I feel bad transplanting them, but I mean, they were just gonna get rid of them. I don't know if I actually explained why I have those plants, but uh, essentially the Bose organization bought uh, a piece of property and um, it had these plants, but they were gonna end up ripping them up anyway. So they said I could just take whatever I wanted. So I got some hostas and the peonies, but um, the peonies are quite mature. So hopefully they do survive the transplant because, I mean, I try to make it as hospitable as possible, but hopefully they survive. Hello, it is, what day is it today? Monday, and uh, yeah, so I just, uh, I'm leaving work early today because we all finished packing up and uh, they disconnected my computer, so it's not like I can do anything at work anyway. It's about 3.30 and uh, I am gonna head home. So a little bit early and then tomorrow I have to do the tedious task of pa unpacking and putting away all the stuff that I packed up today and Friday. I just finished filming a Friday phase video and I know it's Monday, but I don't know when I'm gonna be able to film it this week. So I pre-filmed it and I'm gonna be uploading it on Friday. I haven't done a Friday faves video in a long time and I want to bring it back because I have been trying new things, whether it's beauty or, you know, I don't know, iPhone apps or just random things and I have lots of things to share with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy that video. Actually, it'll probably be up by the time you watch this vlog. So I will link it below and uh, please go watch it if you are interested. I am back in my new space now so it's... Tuesday afternoon, I forgot what day it was. I still have a whole bunch of shit to unpack, but uh, my office is coming along. I decorated a little bit here, as you can see. You might remember these from my previous office space. Uh, I just put them back up again. Happy Friday. I am heading home from work right now, and uh, it's Friday, which is very exciting. I have a couple of errands to do after work. I am going to get some gas, then I am going to mail off the second Becca palette that I accidentally purchased. I am gonna go to Chapters and also Michael's because I want to get a new planner. 
So those are kind of like my to-do list for the evening. It is so nice right now. I'm very much looking forward to the weekend. Good morning. I am getting ready. It's Saturday morning. I did only one thing on my to-do list yesterday, which was to mail off that parcel. And then the bone I watched a movie. What did we watch? Spider-Man 2. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Because I actually hadn't seen it before. We watched it on Netflix. So today I'm going to do the rest of my errands <laughs> and I am going to get ready. So my voice is getting better. It's actually really funny because at one point I just kind of forgot what my voice should sound like because it's been... I'm going on my third week now of having like a hoarse voice. It's funny because I'll watch some of my older videos and think, oh, okay, so my voice did not always sound like this. I was even asking the bow, I was like, could you, do you even remember what my voice used to sound like? Because I feel like my voice has been like this forever now. We are checking off our first thing on our to-do list. Uh, we are at a greenhouse because I wanted to check out some flowers. We checked off a couple of things from our to-do list and I did a quick outfit change because it's starting to get warm. But now we're going to Michael's because we did go to Chapters earlier and I decided I did not like any of their planners. So we're going to go to Michael's to get a happy planner. It was a successful trip to Michael's. I got the planner. So I got the, um, I think it's called the happy planner. And uh, they didn't, they had I think four different styles. In the, at the Michaels that I went to. Uh, this is the one I ended up going with. I didn't want uh, one of the planners that had writing on it. Um, you know, they had like fun little quotes on it, but I just wanted it to be plain so it's floral on both sides. I'll show you guys um, some other things that I picked up uh, a few days ago, a couple of days ago, once I get home. I got some uh, cute stickers and things like that. So we're home now and I'm gonna show you uh, this planner very quickly. So this is what the planner looks like. It was um, $39.99, but you can use the coupons that uh, Michaels offers. So I got 40% off, um, which is a pretty good deal. So this is what it looks like. Just open that up. So we just flip through, starts in July. Some nice colors. I just liked it. It was really simple. I'm currently using a planner from Bandeau, uh, which I do like, but I thought I would switch to this kind of planner because it's a bit different than my usual planners. As you can see, it's a uh, I don't know what we call this, I guess a vertical layout as opposed to a horizontal one. So I thought I would try it out. I'll show you guys some of the um, happy planner stickers that I got to go with it. I think this is exclusive to Michael's, I'm, I'm not sure though, but this is a sticker set which I thought was really cute. It has a mint pink and gold theme which is pretty. This one is for the Happy Planner, so it's a really pretty gold um, gold foil. So that's what all the stickers look like. And then I got this one just because I thought it was cute. Um, and again, there's like five sheets on it here. I really like having a planner, obviously, just to keep track of everything. But uh, I'm also really excited to have a, a more customizable planner because with this planner, from what I have seen on reviews, you can actually get a special hole punch for it so that you can put basically whatever you want in here. You can put different kinds of cardstock and pages in here. Um, so I'm pretty excited. It's a little bit more of a customizable planner and I'm excited for it. So I didn't realize it until I was actually going through these, but this is a whole sticker set solely kind of based around health and workouts and fitness. I go to the gym in the mornings, but I'm not a huge fitness person, but I'll still use these. I still think it's a, a nice little set, but I didn't really realize that, so be aware because I guess each of these sticker booklets has a theme and this theme is health and fitness. Also make note that if you are interested in the Happy Planner that it is um, an American calendar so all of the holidays are for the US. Um, so here it says Independence Day which obviously we don't celebrate in Canada so we would I guess have this day which is Canada Day. But um, yeah, just to keep that in mind, you'll have to put your own holidays in here. I'm going to end this random vlog here. I 
I'm not really doing anything exciting for the rest of the evening. Um, we're just gonna have dinner. I'm going to plant some of the new plants that I picked up while uh, we were at the greenhouse this morning. I just got some hydrangeas and uh, I got to plant some of the hostas that um, the bows co-workers got him for his two-year anniversary. So that's pretty much all the exciting stuff I'm going to do tonight. So I thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in my next video. Bye!